Assalamu alaikum, my good readers. Uh, we are going to start today BS English Linguistics program. Uh, I'm going to discuss Sarevas today. For BS English, uh, I, I, let me share the screen first. We have to see uh, how can we, how many subjects are there. I think uh, you can now see the whole screen. You see here, uh, which is BS English <coughs> program, effective subjects, elective subjects, BS English Linguistics. The course title, Emerging Trends in Social Linguistics, is the first, first paper, first uh, one, course code is ERL416. Okay, <coughs> course contents are uh, societal, multilingual, language varieties, language and culture, uh, culture, bilingualism, uh, biglosia, linguistics, and social inequality. Uh, uh, the ongoing linguistic processes, controversies, and implications of language modernization, language planning, language conflicts, and politics in South Asia. On demand of uh, students, uh, I have also started BS English Linguistics. Okay, as you can see, it's the first one about social linguistics. So the course aims are bringing about awareness of dynamics of language and social oper operations. The course will focus on contemporary developments in social linguistics and the new dimension of research in the area. So that's the first paper of elective subject BS English Linguistics because <coughs> most of us must now uh, start BS English Linguistics because they want to do Master in English Linguistics and then I'm um, in English Linguistics. I'm Dr. Khaled Malik. I have a PhD in Applied Linguistics from UNP. So you can see the suggested readings are here according to Ms. Chihara Education. Okay, and uh, uh, I will give you notes in the in other lectures, lecture one about BS English Linguistics. We are just, just today discussing syllabus. Number two, course title, Introduction to Computational Linguistics. If you want to get videos, you have to subscribe to this channel so that whenever a new video upload about, uh, uh, about the PPT slide of your lessons from first social linguistics paper, you can automatically get message of new video. So number two, course title, Introduction to Computational Linguistics. So this one is uh, the course ELL, course code ELL417. So, Course objective, the course aims to give theoretical grounds in reducing the contemporary work in computational linguistics, human language technology, and artificial intelligence to understand how human and machine communication works in the modern world. The objectives of the course are given as in them. So these are the objectives, but I'm not going to discuss in detail. But you know it, you have it. Uh, uh, just I will discuss the title. You must understand first the paper, but how many papers are there, okay? So the, the course contents, uh, these are five chapters on this, the whole syllabus, okay? And then the recommended readings are here. Uh, third course is uh, the course title English for specific purposes, ESP. Course code is ERL418. There are course objectives, and also then uh, you see how many chapters, six chapters are there. Uh, the first chapter, introduction to uh, ESP, which was specific person purposes. Recommended readings are here. List of recommended reading readings. Next paper number four is uh, course title is introduction to critical pedagogy. Pedagogy, you can see course code ERL four one nine, and this is course content. It has just eight chapters, and then uh, recommended readings. Uh, okay. Next is number five, Pakistani English. This is ELL420 course code. And uh, <clears throat> how many chapter it has? Almost Pakistani English has 40 chapters. Okay. Very interesting, very interesting one. Then you see for 50 chapters. So 40 in first page, second page, or 10 more. 50 chapters. There's many readings are here, different reading books you can buy from Bazaar. Number six course title is uh, Second Language Acquisition. Course code is ERL 421. Okay, basic concepts and then theory series of SLA. This is actually, you see here course content one, two, three, four, five, four, four chapters. Okay, 
And then next paper is uh, introduction to syntax, ELL422. Uh, this has, uh, uh, you see, uh, how many chapters it has? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chapters, the course content, okay? So next is the introduction to forensic linguistics. Uh, course code is ELL423. Uh, this course has uh, uh, how many chapters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen chapters has we will recommend a reading for this chapter. And then number nine, clinical linguistics, course code ELL424. Okay, course objective, the, the objective course are given as below. You can see, and then course contents. These chapters, I have 18 chapters. The last chapter is acquired speech disorders. We will discuss all of them in detail. I recommend readings here, okay? And number 10 is language testing and assessment, ELL 4 to 5, okay? So course contents, no, there are eight sub chapters of this course. Recommend readings. Next is 11. Course number 11 is language and education. Course code ELL 426. Course of the objectives are here and then course contents. This is chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 chapters. Then number 12, language and gender, ELL 427. Okay, and it has how many chapters? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 chapters. Then uh, course uh, title, Corpus Linguistics. You can see it, those content 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 chapters in this course. Okay. And now here comes uh, an actual one for uh, functional English. Uh, English one is called functional English. The bit of among functional English is English one. It has, uh, you see, uh, different types of, uh, it has, uh, for example, and the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven chapters are most. If you can see the recommended books for functional English. Okay. And number two, second paper in functional English is communication skills. Okay. It has also five chapters. And then you can see technical writing and presentation skill. Uh, it, it also has uh, how many chapters it has. Recommended books are there, but it has uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six chapters. Okay. And then we have uh, Pakistan studies compulsory uh, here. And also Islamic studies will also be compulsory. You can see, okay. Uh, Pakistan uh, Islamic studies will also be compulsory. Yeah, that is also compulsory. That's all, okay. That's all for, for the whole one, this one about the uh, functional English. And uh, today we discussed uh, this one. So now come back again. Uh, we have discussed today syllabus of BS English Linguistics. Okay. It has how many subjects it has. I discussed with you with the, how many chapters it has. So because it's too long, so I cannot define, I, I'm going to discuss everyone. But you can see when we are in the next video, I will start from first chapter, social linguistics, the first, first paper. BS program first paper is social linguistics. I will start discussing social linguistics. And then it has, for example, it has eight chapters. Each chapter, how many questions I will discuss with PPT slide with you. So you can subscribe my channel so that you will be able to get any new video, whether you are doing BS English language, whether you are doing BS English literature, whether you are doing BS English linguistics, you will get my new video if you subscribe my channel. So every new video will come to you automatically. The message will come to you. And wait for our next channel. We are going to start next next video. Uh, first paper of BS English Linguistics, uh, the social linguistics. Uh, the first chapter, question, how many questions it has? I will discuss the PPT slide. Hopefully, you you uh, this will be helping you. The syllabus I discuss you, as mentioned by Ministry of Higher Education of Pakistan. Okay. So hopefully it will help you and wait for the next video for the first lecture or first chapter of BS English Linguistics. The first paper is Social Linguistics. We'll, we'll discuss in Chala. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, my good students.